Hi, this is Charlotte from Melbourne Real Estate. I'm just down at GO4 at 1344 Dandenong Road um, in Hughesdale. I'm standing out here in your courtyard just to show you the size of it. Um, you can see down in this corner, there's a lot of garden bed, which is um, less than ideal because obviously it makes it less of a practical space. Um, you could obviously put perhaps your barbecue here and then your table and chairs, but if you wanted to do anything, I'd probably suggest that you pave this area here and make it a, a more functional space. Um, only downside is there's a watering system here, so we'd have to speak to someone about whether or not that's going to be affected. And it obviously comes off there, which is the watering tank. So I've just locked myself out. As we go inside, this is Brenton. He's your property manager, so you'll get to know him. So as we're in here, this is your front door just here. Obviously the kitchen, and then the bedroom and bathrooms around to the side. This apartment was a display apartment, so there's some pretty hefty holes in the walls from where they had pictures and so forth hanging. Um, we've obviously marked those down and requested that they all be rectified. And then under the split system here, and they must have had a wall mounted TV um, in there, but got the timber floorboards. It's really nice and light for a ground floor apartment, I'll be honest with you. It's lighter than most, which is fantastic. Um, we've got the pantry in here, stone bench tops. The great thing about these bench tops is they're deeper than most others, so you can actually fit things on them and then use the space in front. A little space for the microwave, here a little dish drawer down the bottom, and then your cooktop, glass splashbacks, and the cupboards. We've got the front door, an entrance area. This here is your intercom on the wall. So as we come through, we have on the left hand side the central bathroom. You got the shower. They're really big showers actually in this apartment complex. It's great. And then tucked behind the door in here is the Euro laundry. Really nice um, Korean um, vanity there. So then we'll go into the second bedroom. So it's a bit, certainly big enough for a queen size bed. You've got the power points on each side. And then a whole wall of mirrored built in robes, which is fantastic. And again, you get natural light coming in here, which is great. And then into the master bedroom. I've got some flags here. They won't be there when, um, obviously, I think they'll come and get rid of them once the contracts are all sorted and money's sorted. Um, but the master bedroom's here. The window. And then you've got, the great thing is they've actually put drawers and shelves and things in the cupboards. But again, you've got a wall of, of built-in robes, which provides the tenants with a lot of storage space. And then, just stepping over flags, sorry. And then into the ensuite, which is a really big size for an ensuite, which is great. Again, huge shower, which is fantastic. And then back this way. And on the right hand side, I've got a linen cupboard, which it's a small thing, but makes a world of difference. So happy to have a chat with you about what we do about the courtyard. Um, Brenton suggested maybe a storage shed if you wanted to, um, or we can see what happens without having to spend any money. But when you walk in the apartment, this is sort of what you see from the front door. So you've certainly got space along here. You probably put your couch there, TV on this wall, and then you've got space for a dining suite. So any questions, let me know. It's Charlotte here. 
and looking forward to getting your tenant.